So you have one of the iPads, one of the iPads that has, has, has to have this, the ability to work with the Apple Pencil. So this is, this is the Apple Pencil right here. This is it, Apple Pencil Series 1. You guys can see that, Series 1. Comes with a little lightning click thing. This, this comes in around, I can't remember, Canadian, I think it's like $129 right there. And is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I actually like using it a fair bit. But some of us want to have a pencil slash stylus that we can use with our iPad. Again, one that has the ability to use the Apple Pencil, which would mean it has to be iPad 2018 release or later models. So the iPad 10.2 inch, iPad Pro 11 inch, 12.9 inch, iPad 9.7 inch, sixth generation, iPad Air third generation, iPad mini fifth generation, and they all have to be running at least, it says, iOS 12.2 or higher. We may have a much cheaper alternative. Mm -hmm. Cheaper is good, yeah? Oh yes, that's coming up right now. All right, my friends, so here we have it. This is it, stylus pen, stylus pen with palm rejection, Ciceron, Ciceron, Ciceron. I don't know, doesn't matter. Active stylus compatible with iPad 7th gen, iPad 6th gen, and all the ones I said earlier. Rechargeable digital pencil. Now, is this gonna have all the features that the $130 iPad Apple Pencil has? Probably not. I know a lot of us need a pencil strictly for things like doing notes or doing some rough drawings or sketching. Or you have the kids that are looking at doing some artsy stuff and you're like, I would like a pencil. And you would like to give them a pencil but not spend $100. So you wanna spend right now $39. $39 sounds way better. 22 ratings right now, 22 ratings, four and a half stars. If we click on that, it's packed full of power. It's just like an eye, an eye pencil with palm rejection. Great pen so far, long lasting, has great feel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This, this, this is it right here. And this is it right here. It's a pencil, it's a pencil, that's what it is. Professional stylus pen. My mistake, pen. Let's open it. So what do you get in the box? You get a little tiny user manual. Very cool. Not gonna look at that, you could. Here is, this is an extra pen tip. So you get a second one. So if you wear out the first one, you do get a second one, so don't lose that because that's the stylusy part right there. It's just it's just tiny, but don't lose that. You do get a little charger cable. So it is, ah, oh, that's nice. It looks like it's USB-C. Very good, USB-C to USB. And last but not least, you get the pencil. And there's, there's the little tip, right? So that's the spare tip. So if this wears down, you pop this one in and you're, you're off to the races. This, you can actually see it's lit up already. This is your power button. So you just kind of tap that on to, to turn it on. No, that's not the power button. You actually tap this. You just gotta tap it and it turns it on. This here is the USB-C charger, yes? Yes. So this, nice and simply, plugs in like so. Plug it into your laptop, plug it into the wall, whatever you wanna do, charge away. Charge away, this goes back on, and that's it. Yeah, it says really that all it needs to do is there's not even any pairing. As long as this is on, see how it's lit up blue? It does all the pairing all by itself, which is why it needs iOS 12.2, because there was something that was built into 12.2 that allowed it to do this. Here's the Apple Pencil. Here's their pencil. So you can see the Apple Pencil is slightly bigger, but the one thing I like about this, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have a square edge here. And I do like the square little edge. It's also nice if you put it down, it doesn't necessarily roll as well because this, it's always, it's always rolling. This one doesn't. Now the new Apple Pencil Series 2 doesn't have that issue, just so you know. Anyways, here they are. Look very, very similar to each other. Real question is, well, does it, does it allow me to actually draw? So we're gonna pop this down here and we're going to we're going to actually just go into a drawing application. So we'll go into Procreate. I can't draw, so that's not the point here. We're just checking to make sure it works. And it supposedly has palm rejection, okay? So you'll notice here, nothing's drawing. Come down with a pencil. Is it on? No, 
Might help if I tapped it. There we go. It's on now. Blue. Try that again, shall we? Anything? It does say it's on. Oh, it might be. <laughs> so silly. The color I have here, same color as the paper. So let's go blue. Back to this. Let's go to drawing. Let's go to ink. Fine tip ink. All right, ready? There we go. Greg. Hello. How are you? Yeah, that's a win. So you just gotta make sure it's on. Now, the one thing it doesn't have, and this is something that I, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm curious, if I went to, let's say, a sketching pencil, and we choose, doesn't really matter, I'll choose a technical pencil. What would happen normally, I'll bring this down to like a darker color, is that this would, does it have printer sensitive? So it doesn't have like pressure sensitivity. You'll see if I write really light, it's really just as dark as if I push hard. And if I go to the edge and I do this, it doesn't really care. It's just the same. It's the same tone. Now, if I were to do that with an Apple Pencil, for instance, it would have pressure sensitivity. So the harder I push, the bigger it would get. And as I move my pencil to the side, it would actually have a thicker line because it would just be like a pencil if you ran on the side. But still works good, right? Hi. Okay, so it works there, and you still can, in a program like this, adjust it here and play around to kind of lighten it and all that kind of stuff. That works, so that's good. What about a program like Notes? Does it work in Notes? Does Notes recognize it? Uh, we'll hit plus here, we'll add a new one. So if I tap, yeah. Hi, how are you? So that works as well. Now, the one thing I do notice a little bit, and it is, you know, I have a screen protector on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see how it it does leave almost like a little bit of a remnant on the screen? Now, it isn't scratching the screen. It's just, it's almost as if there's, I don't know, just something on there. It could be the screen protector I have too that does it. I'm curious, I'm curious now. So this just hooked up, right? Yeah, hard to say, hard to say. Let's bring an eraser up here. Yeah, this so does the Apple Pencil. I guess the Apple Pencil does it too. So that's really the screen protector. But I do have this on, I wanted to show you this because same pencil, right? If I go really light here, you'll see how light it is, right? And as I push harder, you'll see it goes darker, right? So that's a perk of the Apple Pencil. If you go on the side here, you'll notice that you get that kind of, as if a pencil was on its side, right? So you get that like ability to shade versus pinpointing. If you need pencil accuracy, you are an artist, you are someone who draws and you really wanna get into it. You know, the investment into an Apple Pencil is not a bad thing. If you are someone like myself, for instance, that uh, I take notes a lot of times and I like to fiddle around and do some drawing and even some photo editing I like to do with the pencil. This pencil would work just fine because I just, pressure sensitivity in that for me isn't that important. And same thing, my daughter, this would be great. She likes to draw, but she doesn't need anything exciting, right? She just needs to be able to plug this and, you know. But you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. This, this does the job for a fraction of the price, $38, almost $100 less, almost, than the Apple Pencil. So is it a good deal? Yeah, I get why it gets four and a half stars. You know, it's it's very economical for 80% of the population that needs a pencil or wants a pencil or thinks they might need a pencil. Perfect, voila. For those that need that extra bit, go buy the Apple Pencil. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you need. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you guys there. 22 ratings, four and a half stars, $39 right now at time of me filming this. And uh, that's it. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in this one. What is it? The Ciceron, Ciceron Active Stylus compatible for the iPads. Very cool. Make sure again, the iPad that you have compatible with the Apple Pencil. That's kind of important. And uh, that's it. That's all.
pencil. That's cool. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, my friends.